Hey guys, it is Josh here from That's It Snow, and I'm here today bringing you the Nidecca Sensor for winter 2021. This is a beautiful all mountain freestyle board designed to take you big in the park or aggressive on the piste and even in the back country. If you're looking for a board that is going to push you in your freestyle riding and really go big, this is one to check out. It is a full twin snowboard, so twin in flex, twin in shape, so completely symmetrical from the outside and above. So if riding switch is something you're going to do a lot of, this is great for that. To give you a bit of forgiveness where you need it, we have a cam rock profile. The camber is in between the feet, it then rockers up early on the tip and tail. That camber is going to give you the pop, the aggression and the stability at speed, yet that rocker section on the outside of the foot is where you're going to get the forgiveness. So if you don't quite spin a full 360, you'll find it a little bit harder to catch your edges. Same if you're just cruising the hill and you're doing bits of butters around, it'll make it a little bit easier to do that. Then rocker sections will also give you the ultimate lift in the powder, so when that deep stuff comes, you know you're going to get rise out of the snowboard. You have a mid flex, it's about a 5 to 6 on the flex rating. Again, what that means is a great fun feeling flex. So if you're carving, you'll be able to hold the carb nicely, but it's not so stiff that you can't get a press on. So if you want to learn to nose press, butter around, or just have fun cruising the piece, this flex will give you a great hand. So to reduce chatter in the snow on them harder piece, they've used the premium sandwich construction method. This is where they use carbon and Kevlar in there just to absorb that chatter in the snow. They've also added Pop Carbon Plus, which you can see there. These are lines of carbon that run from the nose to the top of the inserts and same on the tail. What this does, as it says in the name, it provides ultimate pop. It also gives the board a bit of um, torsional stiffness, so you'll find you'll have more precision in the carb. But yeah, again, as I say, making sure you have the ultimate pop. So to give you a bit of extra forgiveness and a bit of a get out of jail free card, they've added sidekicks to the board. This is a great feature that you can see here. What they do is they lift up the edge of the board on the nose and tail. This reduces the contact points, meaning that you have a bit of extra forgiveness. So again, if you're um, trying to spin or if you're pressing around, it would be a bit harder to catch your nose and tail. Also what it does, again, it adds to flow in powder. It gives you a little bit of extra rise laterally. So if you're turning through the trees and the deep stuff, you shouldn't be sinking anytime soon. And whilst on the base, they have the N7000 base on there. This is a really tough, sintered base that's extremely versatile, very strong, absorbs load of wax. So in them hotter conditions, you shouldn't be going slow anytime soon. Now, if you're a beginner to advanced snowboarder with freestyle on the mind, this is definitely one to check out. It's got a nice forgiving profile to give you confidence if you're a, more of a learner, but if you're an advanced rider, it has all the tech in it to make sure you have ultimate response, hold and feel. So it really is a board to progress into. If you want something a little bit stiffer, but the same feel, Look at the uh, Sensor Plus. It is the exact same board, but it's full cambered and it has a bit of extra stiffness in there. But if you have freestyle on the mind, no matter if you're riding powder or lapping the park all day, this is one to check out. This is the Nidecker Sensor for winter 2021.